So the Jackass director, Jeff Tremaine, has been granted a restraining order against Bam Margera after allegedly getting death threats uh, from him and his family. Uh, online oh court orders previously viewed by Fox show that the producer and director of the popular stunt franchise filed for a civil harassment prevention in L.A. Superior Court against Margera three days after the latter shared a video bashing Tremaine and Johnny Knoxville over his firing from Jackass 4. Uh, according to TMZ, Tremaine has been granted his temporary restraining order requiring Bam to remain at least 100 yards away from Jeff, his wife, and his kids. Oh. Uh, he's also barred from contacting the director uh, for any reason. They also shed some new light as to Tremaine's reasoning for seeking legal help to keep distance between himself, his family, and the former professional skater. He claims that he was being harassed by Marjorie since February after he was allegedly a no-show at a virtual meeting designed to find solutions for the trouble star's mental health and sobriety struggles as he continued to push forward on the fourth movie. Uh, he claims Man uh, Margero has been targeting him on social media with public rebutes, uh, threats of violence, obscene drawings, comparing him to disgraced uh, movie mongol Harvey Weinstein, as well as a comment made at him in Oxford that they can uh, pencil their blank death certificate. What the fuck? Uh, the outlet reports that the most disturbing thing that came out was an alleged uh, threat uh, directed at, his, at Tremaine's kids. Uh... Quote, look at your children and grab your pocketbook and write a check. If you get, if you are greedy and cheap, look at your children again. If you don't sign the paper, look at your children. Sign your stupid effing contract before you're blank. Not safe anywhere. And that, then wait, Bam said that. Yeah, Bam said that. Uh, uh, and then what? Tremaine claims that the contract my is referring to is one that he wrote himself. He quote unquote said, uh, "My family, my or my jackass family has betrayed me, abandoned me, rejected me." Not all of them. I love all of them. And they love me back, but it's specifically Jeff Tremaine and John Knoxville. I feel, so I feel like my family has effing done everything horrible to me and made me jump hoops and walk on eggshells, which is impossible, and strung me along like a effing puppet to get $5 million that I usually get when uh, when I make a movie with them. Yeah, so like the drama is heating up from like the last video we posted on Bam Margera. Even though I feel like most of you are commenting as like, whether they should do it or not and how, you know, we're messed up for saying if they should do Jackass or not. But the bigger, po- the bigger point here is like, like shit got very heated. All the behind the scenes shit. Yeah. It's just like, damn, dude, like this is literally like friendships that have existed for like 20 years, literally just getting torn apart. Yeah. Because of this fucking movie. Damn. It's and, terrible, dude. And because of like, Substance abuse and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like Bam is like you can tell. But like, you can tell like this. This wouldn't be happening if if not for the movie. You know, that's true. You're right. Well, I feel like he still would have flipped out over some. some yeah, he doesn't seem like he's in a good Possibly. place right now. But personally. yeah, definitely not. But I well, like, I mean, but you think of all the shit he's gone through. You know, it's hard to say what's really going on because we're just reading this yeah. article. We don't really know what's going on, but like. It seems like they try to help him. He just doesn't want to accept their help, or, or I guess it's something he'd rather handle himself. And from what, even from when we talked about this last time, like the reason why he's off the movie to begin with is because he's just in a, such a unstable state. So it's hard to work with someone like that because you know it's just so unpredictable. Not saying that he's not gonna help, but unless like he acknowledges like. Listen, like this is not working because it only seems like one side is acknowledging like this can't work. The Bam Margera side doesn't seem like he's coming out and saying, "Oh yeah, like I'm not in a good state of mind to do Jackass 4. Unless that shit, con- they find a resolution to that like that shit's just gonna keep building and building. Especially since he's so public about it too. Like yeah. it's not even like just behind the scenes, and we're finding out from like you know like people that are on set or something. It's like this guy's publicly coming out and like literally putting them on blast. Yeah. So I think it makes it even more like tense. Yeah, like yeah, it's it's not just like this, these aren't assumptions. Like these like that actually has been happening. Yeah, yeah, and you've been seeing it. Like there was the, the last time we just we saw we were watching the videos of this guy like in his house, like just like venting it all out and I think he was like drinking too, so he like there was a moment where he was like throwing up and he's like venting, throwing up, venting. It's it was, the it was worst very, things to put on video. Yeah, it was, it was very disturbing to watch. I mean, well I don't know, man. Hopefully this guy gets his fucking shit together, honestly. Right. Like, 